Hello, trying to do a movie on wood that's drying in the greenhouse. Here it is, right here. I'm going to show it to you. It's on platform scale. It's stacked real lightly, real or airy, so it, it's taking up a lot more room than it would normally do if you stack it, but I wanted to do that so it would dry a little bit faster. I split it on 10 18 18 and it weighed 600 pounds now we're down to 400 I don't know if you can read that 420 uh, you gotta go down the lower one 28 pounds you have to take my word on it because I don't think it's gonna show now this wood here is what I call my Cadillac wood has no bark, no sapwood to speak of. It's it's all just clean, real clean wood. So there's bugs get under the bark, and I don't like that to go in the house. Here's some facts about this wood. Okay, it's what I call Cadillac wood. It was split on the 18th from a dead standing red oak. It was about three foot in diameter. The weight on that started out at 600 pounds as of today, which is 216. 19 is uh, 428 pounds, so it lost 172 pounds in four months. If you divide 8.34 pounds, that's how much a, a gallon of water weighs into the 172, the wood has lost 20.62 gallons of water. Okay, the, the stack is approximately 32 inches deep, 18 inches wide, and 46 inches tall, which is, if you calculate it out, is 0.11 of a cord, but I got it, I got it spaced out so, so much so it's airy that uh, you can really just look at a tenth of a cord. Let's figure a tenth of a cord. Uh, that means it's lost 206 gallons of water if it was a full cord of wood. That's a lot of water. It's hard to imagine that a cord of wood would even have that much water in, but I think it'll go down to about 300 pounds when it's dry. I, I split a piece, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, and it still had uh, a 40% moisture content in the center. Now remember, this was a dead standing oak that I got. It was three foot in diameter. I cut it into rounds in April of last year, and it set until October when I split it. And that's where it is. It's what I call Cadillac wood. You can see it's not its not really even just starting to check out some of these pieces where the ends of the rounds were, they, they browned out when I cut them. And it rings, it sounds like it's dry, but when you split it and check it with a moisture meter, it's way up there. We're in the greenhouse right now. There's how I do my kindling. Everybody likes kindling. This is uh, trims off the sawmill. When I cut it on the sawmill, then I set all the trims up and cut them off, and then I have a saw that cuts them in real nice, real nice 18-inch uh, pieces. It makes great kindling. It gets super, when it's like this, it's super dry in the greenhouse. There's some uh, wood rounds. I sell those, I sell those for people making picture frames and uh, I don't know, they put mirrors behind them, wedding venues, there's all sorts of uses for those things. I didn't think they'd be such a hot item, but I seem to sell an awful lot of them. There's some uh, wood I'm just drying in here. That's been in here for, I don't know, a year and a half now. It's, it's dry, ready to work. I just got to get to working on it. But anyhow, I'm going to go show you some more Cadillac wood. But I think I'll, 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 I'll close this video out. I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. I'm an old fart that just plays around with it from time to time and wanted to show, show you that there's a tenth of a quarter of wood and so far it's lost 20 gallons of water. I don't even know how to turn this thing off.